All right, that's it actually for bucket or break. But we have a last update. Uh, an end of an era in Alaska. Yeah. Of course, yesterday JV Casho was traded to the Blackwater Bossing for at JV Casho and Barkley Ibonia were traded to the Blackwater Bossing for Mike Tolomia and the 2022 draft pick. Yeah, that hurts, man. This is a brick. This is a brick. Honestly, the only bucket I see here is. Mike Tolomia. For Mike Tolomia. It's a good from Blackwater to Alaska. Let's talk about Mike Tolomia first. Uh, Curry Rice, for sure. You're going to go to a... a, a, a leg, uh, what do you call that franchise? Like a legendary franchise. Like a, like a franchise with such great history. Yes. We all know what Alaska has done in the PBA. He's going to play for Coach Jeff, who is also a legend. Uh, be able to compete. Be able to compete. Like in all honesty, like let's not let's not beat, beat around the bush. Obviously, he's gonna be able to compete in this team compared to when he was with Blackwater. So that's a bucket for Mike Tolomi. This is a great move for his career. Sobrang suerte niya na siya yung naging ano naging trade. And but hindi na siya ganun ka. Wala na siya masadong kaaway sa pwesto. That's true. And also, sinasabi ko kasi yung Blackwater, they don't have a lot of trade assets. Mm-hmm. First, they that's used right. Simon and Ciso, which was one, their first trade asset. Now their trade. Parang ngayon si Tolomia na lang nakikita kong trade asset eh. Tsaka maybe si Baser for a little pero hindi rin I, But I don't think they're gonna si trade Baser. Baser. Pero hindi rin masyadong nagpakita si Baser kasi. Oh, this this, this last oh, season. Tsaka sabi ni Coach AV, he wants Baser to come back to his normal usual form. There's no old form. He diba? wants he wants Baser to be their lead guard. Oh, that's, that's And that's exactly. one of the reasons why they got JV. They got JV to be the the mentor. the mentor of Baser. So I understand that whole thing. And uh, that's definitely a bucket for Mike Tolomia as an individual. But the thing is here, uh, Mike is Mike is a great player. Mike can help Alaska for sure. But can you imagine the pressure that Mike is gonna go is gonna have on his shoulders? Hindi dahil hindi siya magaling. Dahil yung pinalitan niya, pare, oh, oh, le- legend I mean, legend did the making na rin si JV. Oh, though. Oh, eh. Kumbaga, let's, not, let's not forget about oh, that. I don't wanna... Exaggerate here. I don't know how many how many players ang ni-retire na ang jersey sa Alaska, but definitely JV could be one of them if they if they were retiring jerseys. I don't even know if they are, but yun nga, the pressure on Mike is crazy. But at the end of the day, man, he's gonna deliver because he he can hoop, man. Magaling si Mike. So oh. talking about JV though, this is a brick because for Alaska, I don't I don't, I don't understand why because. I understand if you're trying to get younger. But you already have a Mav. You have a JC. You have a RK. You have an Alec who also can play point guard. Mike De Gregorio somehow. Kasi si, si Mike parang hindi rin naman pure point eh. Okay, so I take back actually what I said pala kanina na ang dami pala ng bata, no? Ang dami pala, <laughs> dami pala niya kapwesto pa rin dito, putang ina. Hindi, tsaka pare kasi, hindi naman pure point si Mike eh. Oo, oh, hindi. Combo pa pero, din si Mike eh. Pero ang dami nga combo rin sa alas. So, hindi rin siya naiiba kay hindi, oh. Mav. Hindi siya oh, naiiba kay Mike. kay Mike. Hindi rin siya naiiba kay Alec. Si RK, sige, pure point eh. Oo, oh, pure point pa lang si pure RK. Pa. So, may tatlo pang pure point. Si JC. Oh, may apat ka pang pure point and another co- ah, hindi may apat kang may tatlo kang combo guard tas may dalawa kang pure point and then you're gonna bring in another combo guard I understand magaling si Mike but there only one can play at a time only one point guard can play at a time so Mav is there Mike is there JC is there who also played a great bubble so it's a brick for me because if you're gonna if you're gonna have someone sana yung 24-7 makakatulong sa'yo. Because when we're saying on the court, sige on the court, let's, masakit sa akin to, pero aminin na natin, J- JV's not the same. Medyo father time is ano na rin eh. Tsaka medyo dumarating na yung mga point guards na mga Mikey Williams, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kung baga athletic, athletic na ito mga ito, Stanley Pringle. So JV's not the same, yes, I understand that. But JV still can hoop. Makakatulong pa rin si JV sa'yo. But the more important thing for me is, off the court, they have mas malaki ang advantage mo kung may JV ka. Compared, nothing against Mike ka. But, I think aminin din naman ni Mike, yung experience, leadership, di ba? Yung nadaanan na ni JV, ang tagal na eh. So, off the court, I feel like JV's a bigger asset. 
okay lang siguro kung kailangan mo, like, if you're getting a Mikey Williams na tipong, ito na talaga yung lead guard ko, 30 minutes. Naintindihan ko yon But, I don't see rin na, parang feeling ko, he's, Mike is also just gonna squeeze into an already stacked backcourt. Eh. ba? Diba? So, that, that in itself, feeling ko lang, mas asset pa rin si JV. Plus, you're getting rid of Barclay Bonia. That, was, that was, move I did nagulat. it ako medyo mas nagulat. Kasi gets ko JB if they were looking to go younger. Yeah. But uh, Barkley... You can, you can somehow justify the JB trade. Eh. Masakit yeah, exactly. lang talaga. Oh, but... Siyempre. Masakit eh. Masakit si JB. JB won a championship with oh. Alaska. Oh, he was the... He is the lone guy left. From that championship From that 2013 team. champion team. And you get rid of him as well. So, <laughs> um, pero yung Barkley Ebonia... Well, wala you. kang na-trade for him also. Kasi draft pick eh. You don't know yet who's gonna be the draft pick. Plus second round ang basa ko, di ba? First. I yeah, don't know. Let me confirm that. Basta, basta draft pick. You're not sure kung sino yung makukuha mo dun. But you got rid of someone. Barclay Bonia, ang ganda ng pinakita, lalo na ng first bubble. Mm-hmm. Di ba? So, I don't know why they made this trade. Um, masakit. Pero, wala eh. Tapos pare, people are saying that he's this Tama, is the second round. Yeah. This is oh, see si second round. Pa, no way you're gonna get a Barkley Ebonia in the second round. Ba? No way. I mean, I think Barkley Ebonia was in the second round, pero still like but he was a gem. Naka ano ka nang naka pulut ka nang, de ba? One of the kasi, rare ones. Because a lot of second round guys don't work out. Like Taylor Brown didn't really Let's show face out. It. Let's swerte face it. it that, is, that is the reality. Oh, oh meron at pero nakaswerte ka ne. Okay, Pinuwan natin si Barkley Ebonia. Uy nag over ano nga achieve siya dun sa inaexpect sa kanya eh. so i don't know but but pinala pinakawalan pinakawalan but if you think about it people have been telling me he this is the tony parker of this is the tony parker situation of the of the pba guys you have to understand tony parker signed with another team he was a free agent and he had the choice and he felt like he was going to get a better he was going to be in a better situation in charlotte because I believe um, Kemba Walker was there. He was the the backup point guard. I mean, you have to understand. Mas masakit to kasi ginusto ni Tony yun eh. Ginusto ni Tony yun guys. Free agent siya, pumirma siya. Yun yung nakakagulat doon. Ba't pumirma si Tony Parker sa Charlotte? Ito hindi. Trade to eh. Trade to eh. So wala, walang choice si JV dito. So mas masakit to. I understand na from the surface, you know, a long time spur for a long time ace, you trade them away to become a bossing and become a, a hornet. Ang <laughs> layo, no? Bossing hornet. Ang <laughs> layo. May pera din talaga tayong pagka-jologs dito. Eh, no? Pero, <laughs> but, you under, I understand what you're saying, but that that guy signed. This one traded it out. Like, hindi nila. Wala siyang choice. So, it's a brick for me, honestly, man. All in all. Subjectively. Objectively. Objectively rin. <laughs> objectively rin, bro. Kasi, Yun niya eh. Hindi like like what you were saying kanina, the JV Cash thing was could be justified but the Barkley Ebonia talaga. That hindi was ko really, talaga ma-justify really, yung Barkley really, Ebonia. Really, really. Unless may something behind the scenes na hindi natin alam which obviously hindi naman madidisclose yan. And also, um, kahit yung JV bro eh kasi hindi nga, yung makukuha mo naman in return is not Robert Bolick. Hindi naman yan, Stanley but do, do, do you think he's uh, he's the, of of that caliber pa rin if you trade him for like a Robert Boy? Hindi nga, hindi nga rin. Kaya nga if I was going to trade him din naman with someone who's going to squeeze into the rotation din naman, who's going to get 15 20 25 minutes lang din naman. Dito na ako kay JV kasi yung tulong naman ni JV off the court, iba naman. Tsaka I'm sure masaya yung Alaska fans hangga't nandoon si JV. I'm sure madaming Alaska fans ang medyo oh, malungkot ngayon, di ba? Kasi nga at the end of the day, this is not this is not taking away anything from Mike Tolome. Mike Tolome is a stud. But, yun na nga eh, hindi ka rin naman like, uy, Mikey Williams. Hindi rin naman ganun yung dating eh. So parang, tingnan mo, masakit. Yung nararamdaman ngayon ng Alaska fans is more pain than it is excitement. So Mikey, if you if you were if you were Alaska, I wouldn't pull water, this trigger. How, pull. how? But no, let's say that the trade has already been okay, there. Okay. How would you have fixed this trade? Ah, swerte ko sa Blackwater. Swerte ng Blackwater dito, bro. Kasi yun na nga eh. 
pinakawalan mo na yung isa sa isa, isang guard sa sobrang stacked mong backcourt, it's an advantage na may pinakawalan ng isa. I know that you got someone in return ulit. But again, ito nga eh. JV is the type na kahit wala sa court, nakakatulong. So even if he is the backup point guard to Baser Amer, nakakatulong siya sa bench, sa practice, sa team building, sa coaches meetings. Baka pwede nga sumama na si JV sa coaches meetings. Eh. So iba yung dala ni JV off the court. Tapos, medyo mas... Uh, mas okay na less minutes ang bibigay mo kay JV compared kay Mike. Kasi mas matanda na si JV, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, so bakit talaga sa sa Blackwater? Plus, you get a Barkley Ibonia na wala kang big man. Imagine mo, tatabi mo si Barkley Ibonia kay Kel- Kelly Nabong. Okay yun, bro. Muscle yun kung muscle. Sa Alaska ako medyo ano, na parang, okay, you let go of your locker room guy, your legend, your 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 team captain you let go of him and your future four guy potential future four guy na malaking pinutulong si role wise and then you get a draft pick in return and the guy who will you will, who, who whom you will just squeeze into the lineup now if coach jeff makes mike tolomia the top point guard of the team which is still not clear kasi, parin may mabahan ni si Kape. Oh, bro. That's so, siya kaya niya eh. Mike doesn't really thrive in that position. Eh. Oh, hindi rin naman talaga siya pang point guard. So, maybe mag, maybe mag to two guard rotation sila. Pero sa dos, nandun din si na Herndon. Hmm, si Herndon. Si K-Rax, pa. babalik na. Si yes. Jeron, nandun. Si, let's just say sa wing. Si Jeron, nandun. Si Cabanal, nandun. Yes. Diba? Si, si Mike De Gregorio, kung di mo po point guard, nandun. So, I don't know. It's just um for for Alaska hindi ko makita eh. Ikaw na ikita mo for Alaska. Eh, inya eh. What if you were if you were Alaska, who would uh, who would you what I would, would pray. you do with the trade? I would pray that the How would you is... edit the trade? If you were oh! Alaska or Blackwater, how would you edit the trade? <sighs> I wouldn't. I I just wouldn't pull the trigger. Kasi JV na ako eh. Meron na akong point guard na okay may not be the same but yung dala niya on the court and off the court is irreplaceable especially off the court irreplaceable man only a few players in the league yung masasabi mong has had the same experience as JV Gash. So what what do you think was going on in the heads of Alaska aside from, aside from aside from aside from obviously wanting to get younger. Yun nga eh that's the only justification you can give me wanting to get younger. And also, on the court, maybe mas malaki na yung production ni Mike. Given na yun. Like, given na yun. Kasi, yeah. ano na eh, obviously, bata pa si Mike eh. Si JV medyo may edad na. So, given na yun, maybe production-wise, mas may mabibigay, may mabububuga na si Mike. But yun na nga, i- ilang minutes lang ba lalaroin ni Mike? <laughs> Hindi din naman lalaro ng buong game si Mike kasi may magagaling na nga eh. So, yun na nga, if, if you were trading for a superstar point guard na talagang yun yung magiging main mo, magigets ko. But hindi eh. So, diba? But I'm sure they thought about this, man. For you to let go of JV Casio, I'm sure nakasampo benting meeting sila bago nila pinulo yung trigger. Feeling ko nga dun sa final call na, o oh, game na, tatawagan na nila si na Boss Jusel dun sa kabila na, o oh, game na, trade na. Feeling ko bago yung final call, medyo nakaganong pa si si Boss Bachman nun eh, or si na Uy Tengsu, parang, ano, tutuloy ba natin to? Di ba? Kasi JV yun eh. So, I'm sure they thought about it. Uh, we'll see. It's, we have yet, kumbaga, it remains to be seen kung ano talaga yung move nilang yun. But, for sure, 22 minutes na tayo, pa. 